I love the fact that they that they make the last uh, games of the season division games. So it was just so dope that you got Giants, Cowboys. Now you got Eagles, uh, Washington. You know you had the you had Saints and uh, in 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 New Orleans and um Carolina. You had the Bucks facing off against um, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out to Tom Brady, man. Tom Brady finished off this year strong. Uh, yeah. Forty touchdowns, the most he's had since uh, two thousand seven when he had that fifty piece. Right. <laughs> like, they they got it they got it clicking you know second half which I thought they would um you know coming in completely new system for Tom Brady um completely different style of weapons for Tom Brady outside of the tight end position but you know Godwin and Mike Evans are both they're they're two deep threat wide receivers uh Tom Brady ain't had a deep threat wide receiver since Randy Moss in that 2007 season so you know and then coming in no no preseason training camp different because of COVID. So that's pretty much X'd out. You know, we kind of both said early in the season that it would take them a little while to really kind of mesh and gel, but it looks like they, they did it just in time. And uh, they, they're going to play either Washington or the giants uh, next week. Correct. And I think they, they'll be the favorites in that game. Tampa Bay will be no matter who they play yeah. rightfully. So, as you said, their, their offense has been clicking the last three weeks. I'm not going to focus on the fact that those teams they beat weren't that good. I mean, they beat the Falcons twice and then they beat Detroit. Um, but they, they are clicking. And as we talked about, it was going to take them a little bit of time. Nonetheless, Tom Brady is still the GOAT at the quarterback position. And I, I don't see a scenario where you could doubt them winning round one. After round one, things might get tricky. But at least for round one, I think we expect to see this same caliber of team. Though it'll be interesting whether it is Giants or the football team, because both of those teams have really good defenses that can get to the quarterback and could cause some issues. But for right now, let's just focus on the positives, man. Tampa Bay is looking good, as you mentioned. The schedule makers got it right again this year, not only because of the divisional games, but the way they were able to flex games so that teams who needed to see another team lose were playing at the same time. So mm-hmm. you force teams to not just be able to sit back and be like, oh, we'll sit out, uh, we'll sit out starters. Aside really from Kansas City, who already had the number one seed locked up. Yeah. And- and Pittsburgh, who knew they couldn't get the number one seed anyway, everybody else played their starters. I like, though I hate to say it because my Colts have to go there next week. I like what I saw from Buffalo, man. Like Josh Allen is clicking right now. Yeah, and man. It, you know, I, it was going to be pick your poison anyway, um, whether we won the division or not. Because if we won the division, our prize would have been getting Lamar Jackson, who's probably the hottest quarterback over the last three weeks now, anyway. Yeah. So either we were going to get him or we were going to get Josh Allen, one or the other. So we got to go on the road. We got to be ready for that. And, you know, I'm, I'm rooting for the Eagles too, man. I would love to see the Giants get in and let that young defense get a crack at Tom Brady again because you guys played them very well the first time. That's a fact. And, you know, for me, I'm okay with the Giants winning the division, making it to the playoffs, and losing in the wild card round. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that because this is, not a, this is not a season where coming in, I said, oh, Giants about to make this crazy run to the to the Super Bowl, and it's gonna be like the old Eli Magic days. No, I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna be that. I knew the Giants were gonna be were gonna be bad this season, and they were they were bad this season. Um, you know, losing Saquon Barkley again hurts a lot. You know, especially when you're talking about one of the best offensive uh, players in football. Um, and then you know the ticky tack injuries throughout Golden Tate, Shepard, Ingram. You know, all of these guys, Daniel Jones, missed time, guys on the defensive end. We didn't get in, which is crazy. Um, I got to say, I got to say, roll, roll tight. Everybody get your roll on. Xavier McKinney, you know, he didn't come in in, in, in the season until late. Anyway, that was the the um, the Giants uh, second round draft pick out of Alabama. And, you know, he sealed the, he sealed that game for them today with that interception. He won that, that game. So we didn't get to see him until later in the season. So I didn't I didn't have huge expectations for the Giants going into this thing, but um, you know I gained a a level of respect for Joe Judge as a coach because I didn't know what I was going to get um, out of Joe Judge. I didn't know what he was going to be able to do. It was kind of like the uh, you know like the the Bad News Bears uh, movies. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't know what I was going to get from him as far as being a head coach. This was his first time out the gate. Um, but you know, very happy looking forward to having him coach the giants moving forward. 
Um, he definitely instilled a different mentality, a never quit mentality. And that's what we saw this season. Uh, you know, they won, they won the games that they, that they were supposed to, to, to win, to put themselves in position to even be fighting for a playoff spot. You know what I mean? They had a, they had a good run and that's even with dealing with all of the injuries that they had to de deal with. They put themselves in position to make it to the playoffs. They got to depend a little bit on the Eagles um, in, a, in a couple of minutes, uh, but you know, they did what they had to do. And um, I tip my hat to the entire Giants organization, you know, as much as I would, I, I'm proud of them either way, but I definitely do want to see them uh, get into the playoffs and win a division this year. I think they they definitely earned uh, that spot with the way they, they played the second half of the season. And who knows? You know what I mean? I still got the Buccaneers as the favorites to win the game. I don't even want to act like I'm picking the Giants. You know what I'm saying? But the Giants played them very well, as you just said. It was a close game, a winnable game, actually, for the Giants. Two points. You know what I mean? Things could have could have been different. So who knows? You know, maybe you get another crack at them. Team is a little bit more healthy. There's a, a, a different level of confidence within the organization right now going into a wild card matchup. Um, you know what I mean? So so who knows? Maybe they can get to Tom Brady. Maybe they can steal a winning. Either way, though, like I said, I'm very proud of my Giants and what they what they were able to accomplish this season. I don't think anybody had them being where they are right now early on in the season. So my hat tip to them. Yeah, I mean, I think in, in terms of like win loss, which is always the measuring stick, I think they're right around the range I thought they were going to be as a team, six and ten. But I think what I was most impressed with, with Joe Judge, as you said, is that the season started off very rocky. They lost some close games. You lose Saquon. You had to discipline Golden Tate. You know, you don't have your, your your rookie safety for the first half of the season, but he kept them fighting all the way through. Mm -hmm. And so to see them come out and win a close game today, again, emphasizes everything that Joe Judge is about, the toughness, the, the no quit mentality, and they just keep grinding away because we saw other teams who had better records coming into today fold in, in playoff opportunities, right? Um, the, the Dolphins controlled their destiny. They folded. The, yeah. Cardinals, the Cardinals controlled their destiny against a backup quarterback making his first start. They folded. You yeah. know, the Bears had a chance. They So there were other teams that folded when the Giants said, no, we're, we're still going to battle, even though we know we need help from the Eagles. Let's go out there. Let's win. Let's end the season on a positive note. And let's build from here. And though I don't think he'll win coach of the year, I think Kevin Stefanski from uh, Cleveland is going to win that uh, for breaking their playoff drought, their 18-year playoff drought. Yeah, I think Joe Judge gets serious consideration. And as you said, it's it's going to be one of those things to watch moving forward uh, because I think Joe Judge is on the right track of, of building a culture. We always talk about culture, and he's building that with the Giants. Yeah, and it's crazy because I was, you know, I was saying the other day, you know, I'm because because obviously, you know, you you don't make the playoffs, you know, you get a higher draft pick. However, with the records. It's not like there's going to be a difference of six, seven draft picks in between the Giants and, 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 and the Cowboys. You know what I mean? Like, it's we talk, we're going to still be talking about maybe a separation of, like, two draft picks. You know what I mean? So it's not really nothing too crazy. I would rather have that, that confidence built because you got to think the Giants are a younger team now. They are they are really a really young young team right now. So I would rather that confidence be built up further, get the win. You know what I'm saying? Because now whether they whether they make it to the playoffs or not at this point, they know what they have to do in order to win. They did their job. You know what I mean? So you can't take that away from them. And that's something that they'll be able to build on, especially when you're dealing with a, a, a relatively young team. Draft picks sound nice. Um, when you're targeting a specific guy, like, you know, we know the Jets and the Jaguars are trying to get Trevor Lawrence. Um, but for the most part, you want to put these young guys in situations where you can really test how good they are and how they handle those situations. I look at the, the way the Giants defense played today, again, was lights out as they've been all season. Uh, the 19 points that the Cowboys scored really isn't indicative of how good that defense played today because 10 of those points were set up by turnovers. Um, you know, a fumble, and then Evan Ingram had a terrible drop that at that point, the Giants were dominating the game, and he drops a pass, which leads to an interception, and then now the Cowboys start gaining momentum. But we've talked about it for weeks now. 
the Giant defense is right up there with the Ram defense, right up there with Tampa Bay's defense in terms of every statistical category. When you look at how they play the run, when you look at the way they get to the quarterback, when you look at the amount of points they give up, they're right there with every team. And so what you wanted to see was some of those younger guys that we talked about stepping up, can, can they handle the pressure? Sterling Shepard had an amazing game today. He yes. was all over the place. He showed you that, look, when the pressure's on, I can handle this situation. And that's what you really want to see because ultimately – the Giants have an organization that's top notch. When you when you talk Super Bowls, there aren't many teams that have more Super Bowls than the Giants. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Giants, right? Giants have been successful yeah, in the I'm '80s. The Patriots. Yeah, Giants were successful in the '80s, the '90s, and the early parts of the 2000s as well. So they're trying to build back to that legacy, and you want to test guys. You want to make sure guys can handle that type of pressure. I think you learned a lot about Sterling Shepard today. I think he showed you guys that look. <laughs> When, when the lights is on and it's prime time, I'm a guy you can rely on. And he's, I guarantee you, he's going to be one of those guys that two, three years from now, when this team is winning more games and, and competing to go deeper in the playoffs, he's going to be a part of that. No, that's a, that's a fact. And it was crazy because, so uh, right now, you know, we also got the, the finals and fantasy football going on. So, and I'm playing uh, Sean from uh, on the board sports and uh, he has Shepard on the other side. And I'm like, it is early. So I'm like, now, like it's, it's like a real tight one early. And I'm like, damn, I, I really want the Giants to keep doing the numbers that they doing. But could you pass the ball to Slayton? But then the other side is like, Sterling is, is Shepard is hot. Get him the ball. Keep going, keep going, keep going. But not too much because because I ain't trying to lose this game at the same time either. Yeah. So it was like bittersweet. But you know what? I will I will definitely take that and the win because because you know Shepard is one of those guys who has missed a lot of playing time over the past couple of seasons. So to see him out there and be one of the main reasons that the Giants won this game, because he was pretty much catching everything. He had a rushing touchdown. He had 100-plus yards receiving today. He was everywhere. Dallas had no answers for him. So it was a it was a great thing being able to see him, because we saw that in, you know, in spurts, but he just – couldn't stay healthy. He was getting hit with concussion after concussion after concussion, all the little ticky tack injuries. So to see in a in a game that meant the most for the Giants, for him to showcase his talents and what he's able to do, I loved it, man. You can't ask for anything more from your from your receivers. Absolutely. He's a gamer and he showed that today. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants, Super Bowl champ. And you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought. Real 